Welcome to our channel, where Darius and Ocula of DIY Power Couple. And in this video, we're going to share our mistakes so that you won't go wrong when installing your peel and stick backsplash. So what happened was this DIY was inspired by the success of the peel and stick tiles we used for the accent wall in our master bathroom. Yeah, we really like the finished look and how these peel and stick tiles were a budget friendly way to update our home. There are a few tiles that we had left over and they came in handy when we replaced our old vanity that had a side and backsplash. We found our new vanity on sale at Lowe's and it had no backsplash. So when we measured, we knew the vanity was higher and the gap was smaller under the mirror. So we weren't planning to order a separate backsplash at the time. Now this is our first mistake because we should have installed the peel and stick before we installed the vanity. And you guys can see why this was a missed opportunity later in the video. You know how you can get so focused that you can forget an important detail? Well, we were so focused on the vanity being level and getting all the new plumbing to work that once it was in, we noticed a gap on the back and right side. At this point, we were like, hey, let's use our extra peel and stick tiles. We thought this would be the perfect idea since their dark gray color could contrast the white sink and not look too busy under the tiled mirror frame. It was only a small space that we needed to fill, so we started taking our measurements for both the back and side. Our other idea was that the backsplash tiles would meet right behind the faucet so it would hide the seam. So we cut the tiles to fit and we thought it would be fairly easy just to slide the tiles in. And it did seem like it was working on the sides, but when we tried to slide those tiles behind the vanity, yeah, we had another situation. The tiles were actually too thick to slide back there. We came to the realization that we needed more room. And this leads us to our second mistake. We should have taken the blow and unhooked the plumbing so we could pull out the vanity to give us more space. But instead, we moved it just a little and kept struggling to get the tile behind it. Oh my goodness, guys. This process was so time consuming. And to make it worse, it was causing the tiles on the mirror frame to fall off. So at this point, we needed to take a little break. But we came back in and moved the vanity just a tiny bit more and finally we were able to slide the tile behind the vanity. We took the measurement for the cuts and we thought we were ready to peel and stick. Hey guys, this is where we made our third mistake. By this time we were tired. We ended up using the construction glue for both the mosaic tiles and the peel and stick tiles. Let me tell you guys that the all purpose glue definitely doesn't work with peel and stick on a wall. I mean, they ended up falling down within a few hours. We should have just used the moisture control adhesive that we know works. That is so right. It would have saved us so much time if we just added the same final adhesive we've been using in all of our peel and stick on the wall projects. These tiles are still holding up with this adhesive. And you can check out these videos where we created a peel and stick accent wall in our master bathroom and in our laundry room. We'll leave a link in the description below. So if you want to use peel and stick as a backsplash, but you don't want your tiles to fall down, please use the vinyl adhesive that is specially formulated for peel and stick tiles. Not only will you save money by doing it yourself, but you will save time by using the right products. We ended up scrapping the side and just going with the backsplash. The next thing we did was use a silicone sealant to caulk the sink to the vanity. And then we created a waterproof seal with the peel and stick. We may have made a lot of mistakes in this project as beginner DIYers, but we still love the results. And you know, peel and stick is fascinating to us. And we hope you have a much easier time creating your peel and stick backsplash. If you learned something today, go ahead and click that like button. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. And remember, you can DIY too.